This issue of social media started in the 10th parliament. I remember there was a, a boy from Kitgum who went to blackmail me on social media. And when I reported the case to the police in parliament, they arrested the boy. When I got the boy already arrested with CID in Kampala, they told me they were being paid by Honabo Dongato, Honabo Langa Gilbert. Then they made even my photo, naked photo, and uh, they were planning to blackmail me. Fortunately, after discussion with them, I, especially the other one was not arrested, only one was arrested. The boy apologized. I made him to write and promised that he would not do it again. And you know the, one, the most unfortunate thing? After all what happened in Parliament when he was arrested and brought to Kampala, he had no transport to going back home. I was also the same person who picked money for his transport to go back home because the people who were paying him, he was calling them, they were not picking his calls with the thinking that they will be trapped into the case. And I think to me and to the young generation, it is good to get money and to get resources, but we need to change. I was in Kenya to benchmark. What is happening in Kenya is totally different from what is happening in Uganda. The young generation have gone to social media. They have gone to online to work and they get jobs to do. They are in Kenya, but they are doing work in USA. They are working in the UK. They are working in Germany. And that is what is happening now. I would actually request and advise the young generation, especially in Northern Uganda and in Uganda, to explore the social media, the online platform in a way of how they can get jobs. I will give you an example. There's a couple in Kenya. I met them. I had actually one complete night with them. They came to visit me in my apartment. They could not sleep because of the time difference. As they were in the room, they were working in the UK. And because of the time difference, the lady was a hospital administrator and the, she slept at around 4 a.m. in the morning. This is what the youth of Northern Uganda should begin to think about. Look for jobs in the UK. Look for jobs in Germany. In their country. And we can do it better that way. For this uh, new generation, what has started is very bad. The problem is people don't know the law. There is no proper way of sensitizing, sensitizing Ugandans to know what the law is talking about, the social media activities. You know, of recent, a boy was arrested and taken to parliament. He was charged in the court. And many people were complaining. Number one, somebody was saying, why is he taken to Kampala? We call it the area of jurisdiction. If you are arrested, you are taken where the case is reported. If somebody has reported a case on you in Kenya, you will be arrested in Uganda and taken to Kenya. If a case is reported in Gulu, if you are arrested in Kabale, you will be brought to Gulu. And that is what happened. I therefore advise that those who are trying to use the young generation to do bad politics must stop. However, if you are doing things with evidence, I have no problem. Because you cannot wake up in the morning and begin to talk about somebody who was involved in witchcraft, see? which is not the case. The person has never been in witchcraft. See? You cannot wake up in the morning and you start blackmailing on about a call that he has received 200 million from somewhere when you don't have the evidence. That is when you will face the law. And I really advise, as the chairman of a Chile parliamentary group, the youth of Northern Uganda, please change. And those who want to be trained, on how they can start using social media, how they can start working online. I had a discussion with these young, uh, two young uh, youth in Kenya. They are ready to come in Uganda. I'll pay them to train the young generation, especially those in the sub region, so that they start working online. Instead of this thing of you are paid per week, you are paid per month, or you are on salary to abuse. Uh, I mean, it doesn't make sense. In your personal, personal life as, as politicians in the region? Uh, is it creating fear? As, as, as a person, I have chosen never to answer those nonsense. 
What I do is very simple. My action to speak more than what you write about me. You will remember, when I was doing verification for Balalo, many people were saying I was already bought. But when I started my action as a chairman of a Chile parliamentary group, and giving facts to the people of Chile sub-region, many of the people who are abusing me started saying, hey, he has he, he is changed. But I was not changed. It was the passion I am. And what matters to me in life? You can talk anything about me, but I have a special relationship with God. The moment I know I'm doing the right thing, whatever you talk about me, I don't mind. But some politicians will not take it that way. Because we have young families, we have relatives, and what you speak about me, my friend, my relatives, my children, they don't feel the same way I feel. And I caution people in northern Uganda, please, they just from bad politics of blackmailing. But I don't at any time stop you from writing the right thing. But if you are writing a wrong thing, that's when you end up uh, in court and the law will take its course. So what and there you should not blame anybody. I am reading a book. It tells me how you should be responsible for your actions. The book is called How to Get from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be by Jack Canfield. Simple. For anything you do, totally be responsible for it, whether you are arrested, <laughs> whether you are jailed, you must know you are taking responsibility for the right thing you are doing. And that's my advice to the young generation. Otherwise, I am willing to organize for these two young youth from Kenya to come and train those who can register. They can come here for a week. I'm ready to pay for the money. And people get jobs. You're working from Uganda, but you're working in the U.S., you're working in the U.K. That is a more productive way of doing things, other than what is happening now. So where, where do you see as the gap in the country, as Uganda, uh, when it comes to enforcement of, the, of, of computer use is happening? Uganda, Uganda is a country with the best law. If you go to Rwanda, which people say is very successful, if you go to Ghana, most of the good laws are brought from Uganda. They come and benchmark in Uganda. But our problem here is implementation. You'll ask the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. Just last, last week on the floor of Parliament, he said, the problem is facing, there are no regulations. Laws are made for the Attorney General, uh, the Solicitor General, to work on the regulations to make sure that it's implementation of our laws. They don't work on it, and that's a problem. And he promised the government, and he promised the country, on the floor of parliament that it will make sure there are regulations for implementation of our laws. Otherwise, the Computer Misuse Act that is in place is very key and let people, let the young generation read and understand the law before you act. Otherwise, you will end up on the bad side of the law and you'll be blaming somebody for arresting you when you had a passion on the wrong. So don't blame others for your own mistakes. Know exactly what you are doing if you are on the right hand, go ahead with it. But if you are doing something of blackmailing and you think there's a source of living, that must stop. I advise you, as young generation, you have a reason to be, you know, happy. And uh, I read the book, How to Be Happy. It is simple, follow the law. If you want to be happy, follow the law. Follow the traffic law. Uh, follow the Penal Court Act. Follow the mis uh, Computer Misuse Act. Follow the law if you want to be happy. Otherwise, you will end up on the bad side of the law. Thank you.